Hey guys! So I just wanted to come on and do a quick vlog about my tattoo story. Now I've gotten some questions since I got my latest tattoo and that's the one on my finger and I'll show you right now. It's um, it's my husband's name. His name is Donovan and we both got our, um, each other's names tattooed on our ring fingers on the side right after the day after we got married and that's something that we spoke about and we agreed on and that was something that we wanted to do since we're both into tattoos so just in case you're curious that's what that is that's my husband name it's forever and so I had no issues getting that but people have been asking the questions about my tattoos and I thought I'd just do this video to kind of talk about it and how it plays into my life and like my the like my job and stuff so um, first things first, right off the bat, I know some people are going to disagree with tattoo. like some people really are against tattoos and then you have those that are fine with it and then those that just don't care, it's your own personal choice. And those people who don't agree with it, keep your judgment to yourself because tattoos are very personal things and you don't know where they're coming from. And just like how you're allowed to make your own choices in life, other people are also allowed to make their choices. So it's their body, it's their money, it's their ink, they have to live with it. So reserve your judgment, keep it to yourself, and mind your business. Because you can come off and say very hurtful things to people and you don't know where they're coming from. So watch your mouth and have some manners. Do what your mama taught you. And if she didn't teach you, I'm going to tell you now, have some manners, watch your mouth, and watch what you say to people, okay? That's it. Now, as far as my tattoos go, I have four in, in total. This is my latest one I got. Like I said, I got this the day after I got married. And um, my first tattoo I got in 2003. Yeah, I got that in 2003. So I was 20 when I got it. I was of age. In New York, you need to be 18 or older to get a tattoo without parental consent. You can get it at 16, but you need parental consent to get it. So, that's how the laws are in New York. There are other laws in different states. Obviously, the age will differ, blah, blah, blah. I think um, the age limit, I almost want to say that it should be increased to 21 or 25 because tattoos are very, very permanent. Duh. You can get them removed with laser surgery and stuff, but that still leaves a scar, so you're going to be left with a scar either way, and you're going to go through an, a whole ordeal with it. So I'd say be very conscious when you make the decision to get a tattoo. Make sure it's something that you truly love, and it's something that you're ready to live with for the rest of your life. Just keep that in mind, and um, location is key. <sighs> Um, I see t tattoos these days all over the place, on, their, on faces, on necks, on arms, full sleeves, you know, and all that. And then it's on very young kids who then decide they want to be in the corporate world and, it, and your tattoos can affect you in the corporate world. I'll tell you right now. The corporate world has not caught up with pop culture and they're still a little skeptical and it doesn't come off as very professional when you have highly visible tattoos, especially if they're um, of the questionable kind. So be very mindful of that if you're intending on being in a professional environment, which I assume you are and you do not want your tattoo location or tattoos to limit you, be mindful of where you put them. Please put them in places that can be covered, can be easily hidden. Um, and so forth so be mindful of that and I'll tell you right now at, in my career when I started out I had one tattoo it wasn't visual, visible no one could see it you know it was I it didn't show at all and then my second tattoo happened to be one on my ankle which was visible when I wore skirts or dresses or something or if I put my leg up people could see so um that's something that I had to be mindful of. So now when I go and see clients where I need to be very professional and, and project that um, image, I wear pants, trousers, slacks, which cover cover the tattoo on my ankle, or and or, maybe both, 
I wear um, opaque stockings or pantyhose that will cover that because um, they're they're not see-through so we'll cover that so keep that in mind again um, I need to come off professional so that's covered the one on my finger is less apparent it's still visible but it's less apparent especially with my ring there and my hand like that so you won't really see it unless I'm like hey 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 so um, that one's not as obvious and people don't really see that one and if they do they don't really ask questions so that one's a little bit more but people are more understanding of my husband's name does that make sense so they wouldn't go crazy if you know it's my husband's name versus a star or a moon or some saying on my wrist or something so keep that in mind when you're considering having a tattoo how it will affect your career in the long run okay and as far as people that are going to tell you that oh it's going to be you're going to be old and wrinkly and you're going to have a tattoo and you're going to regret it you're going to be old and wrinkly and you lived your life and you made your choices so yeah i mean some people i do know people that have tattoos that they regret and they wish they never had them and i understand that so again think about them before you get them I personally have zero regrets for all my tattoos. I have four, in case you're curious. I now have four tattoos. I already told you about this one on my finger, and I'll show you the other ones just quickly, and I'll probably leave pictures just to make you get like a better view of them. But I regret none of them. I There's one that I would remove, but if I don't get it removed, I don't care, because I don't regret it. I have no regrets of anyone, and... I'm pretty much almost 30, so I don't think I'm going to regret them unless they stretch out and look crazy. But you live once, so why not embrace all these experiences and then, you know, good stuff. Um, my first, 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 first tattoo is, of course, a tramp stamp. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, the tramp stamp, which is a lower back tattoo. That's what it got. It, that, it got that name. From, I guess they think people that get them there are trampy. Whatever. I mean, say what you will. Judge what you... I like it. And <laughs> it's really... it. I don't know. I liked it when I got it and I still like it now. And I don't go showing it off though. Like, you know how some girls have their jeans all dropped low and looking crazy now. But um, it's a dripping heart with tribal stamps. Well, not tribal. <laughs> tribal symbols come um, coming off it. And it was really to represent my heart and that um, I'm protecting it. So the tribal symbols represent the protection of my heart. And it's still dripping because, um, it's a dripping heart because, well, you know, it still feels, but it's now protected. So that's my tramp stamp. And I'll show you really quickly. Ooh, I put pants on just for this. But if you can see, that's what it is, the tribal symbols come off of it in the heart and it goes a little bit lower but I'm not gonna show you that no 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 but I I liked it when I got it and I feel still like it now and it's fine with me um, you may not like it the next one I got was in memorial L it's a memorial for my like a memorial symbol for my grandmother she passed away and um, this one I got in 2007 so she passed away in 2006 and I got it for her birthday in 2007 I loved my grandmother she's the only grandparent that I knew and she would probably kick my ass for getting it but sorry grandma but I love her and I wanted to get her name tattooed on my ankle and let's see I can probably let me see how I'm gonna show you this but okay so it's her name, Maybelle is her name, and a rose, and that's what I got on my ankle in 2007. Now it also has a little bit more symbolic meaning too, because I got it with one of my best friends, Michaela. We went and got these tattoos together, so it also has that additional meaning because I went and got it with her. Now the third one I got last year in 2011 and I got that in the summertime with my other best friend Rowena she I've known her since my childhood we went through high school together absolutely love her she is my best friend in the entire world and she wanted to get butterflies so we went and we got butterflies and we both got them on our hips 
And this one is definitely easy to hide. It's a butterfly right there and it has like a trail that goes further down. But I'm not going to show you that but really pretty. I absolutely love it and I love what it represents. It's me and my girlfriend, best friends, getting our butterfly tattoos together. So that holds a lot of meaning to me too and I love it, I love it, I love it. And then of course the fourth and final one is the tattoo of my husband's name that I showed you before. Who love my husband. And it's forever and he also has my name there and it's just it's a great symbol of love and promise and you know just being for together forever plus two days. So I love him. I love you. He watches my videos. Um, so yeah, that's what um, that's the last tattoo, and it's probably my favorite. And I don't, you know, I don't rule out the possibility of getting a f couple more. I think I will get one of my kids' names when I um, if and when I have them. God's blessing. I will probably get their names. We'll see how that goes. But I'm not against getting more. And okay. So quickly, 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 tattoos. They hurt. They hurt. It's just, they hurt. There's no way around it. They're going to hurt. And it's just how high your pain, your tolerance for pain is. And for instance, this one took literally under 10 seconds to do. So it hurt, but it hurt for a very short period of time. So this was easy to do, no problem. And writing, I think, is the fastest. Um, like when you just get font, it's the easiest to just outline and it hurts. It, fer it feels like I would, it's almost like getting a hot needle or a hot match put against your skin and drag repeatedly. That's what it kind of feels like to me. It's not that bad and it gets a little numbing. The shading part of, like, if you get color, like, this is just the outline. If you get shading, like I got with the other three, the shading, I think, hurts more than the outline itself. So, bear that in mind. Um, so, this was, like, 10 seconds. The one on my ankle was about a half an hour. The one on my back was the longest one. That one took about two hours, two and a half hours to do. Woo! Yeah, and it was my first one, so it hurt, but it didn't hurt. Like, after about the first half an hour, I was like, okay, this is what happens, and it, you know. The one on my hip, I think, probably hurt the most, um, because it was on my hip bone, and where, where there's bone, it hurts more. So, if you're not fleshy, it's gonna hurt more. I thought my ankle would hurt really bad, but it didn't. I guess I have fat ankles. But my hip hurt really bad, especially when she was coloring it in. Oh, jeez. The, the color is pretty. I love it. But, ooh, it hurts so bad. And I was like, please be done. Please be done. And when she was putting the dots. Ah, ooh. But I made it through. That one was about 45 minutes to do. So, yeah. Afterwards, caring for it. Oh, 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 oh. Make sure that if you're getting a tattoo, they use gloves. They use fresh, fresh needles right out of a brand new package. Do not let them use anything that you didn't see them open in front of you. So make sure you see that. Make sure they sterilize everything. Alcohol, they're going to rub alcohol on the area that they're going to um, do the work on. And I'll tell you this. Um, if there's hair in that area, they're going to shave you. How embarrassing is that? When I was getting my back tattoo, <laughs> my back tattoo, when I was getting my back tattoo, this man whipped out the razor blade and shaved me. Now, I felt like a hairy beast. I was like, ooh, why he got to be like that? No, he had to shave me. So they have to get make sure that area is really smooth and clean, no hair, and it's oil-free. So... Bear that in mind. And the design, you can bring in your own design. Remember that, and they do the outline. You can pick a design from, from like a stock, or you can have them design something for you. So, 
whatever you're into, that's what they'll do. And um, keep in mind there's going to be like a residue, like a purplish residue. It stains for a while, so it takes a little while to get rid of. And um, when you get your tattoo, they're going to give you, well they should, instruct you on how to clean it. But you get, you're supposed to apply vitamin E ointment and that can be A and D ointment you just apply A and D ointment or any vitamin E ointment for the first couple of days not the entire um, time but the first couple of days don't use lotions on it because it will fade the ink don't soak in water don't take long showers don't expose that area to too much um, water or like lotions and stuff that can kind of break down the ink and make it not stand out as much and what's gonna, it takes about two weeks to heal completely. What's gonna happen, it's gonna harden, it's gonna crust over, it's gonna scab over. And you might get some bleeding too. Initially you might have like spots of bleeding, you know, spots of blood. That happens, but it's gonna scab over, it's gonna heal in about two weeks. So that's what the a &D ointment is to help with the healing. Don't use neutri um, like Neosporin and um, stuff like that. Don't use that on it. Just you need a, um, vitamin E ointment and then the, it's gonna strip so it's gonna dull down like it will look sharp initially it will look sharp and you're like ooh this is so hot no that's just the brand new tattoo it's gonna fade down dull down a little bit and then that's in two weeks you're gonna see what your tattoo looks like so that's how it goes don't soak in water and stuff obviously not you don't want to fade it and yeah Stuff like that. If you have any questions or you want to share what your tattoos are, if you have any tattoos, if you disagree with it, I, again, keep your judgment to yourself. Um, but let me know what your tattoo story was like. Was it painful? Did you like the pain? People say that tattoos are addictive. I don't, I don't go itching for a new tattoo. Like, I'm like, oh, I need a new tattoo. But I think that once you get the first one that you're open to getting the second one. So I don't think it's an addiction so much as it opens you up to getting another one once you know what it's about. So let me know what you think, how it was for you, if you have tattoos, how many you have, and how it affects you in maybe your profession or your social life or something. You know, let me know what you think. Of course my mom disapproves completely, but she still loves me so that's all that matters and um thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you soon by the way makeup look did a tutorial post the link below so yeah you're not missing out on anything so i'll talk to you soon bye